This video will highlight the new import pinning options. Previously, imports could be pinned to three or more 3D points or two surface draw points on a plane. Now you can pin an imported cloud to light rays, that is, 2D points on a photo, or position an imported cloud with manual tools when no points are available. This video will demonstrate various ways a point cloud can be pinned to light rays, starting from four assigned 2D points all the way down to no points. This is a single photo project solved using control points. We will show how a 3D point cloud can be pinned to 2D locations, which define light rays on the solved photo. Import the point cloud to pin. Set the type as a pinned import. Note that the new methods only solve the translation and rotation of the import so the file must have the correct scale and units. This scale setting does not apply. Pinned imports only work when the coordinate system is defined by control points. With the low resolution input images, the full 40 million points of this import is overkill. We import every fourth point as the lower point count will improve performance. Select four or more points on the import that can be identified on the photo and create pin points from them. Try to identify points spread across the import, include some at varying depths in the photo. Do not choose points that may not match the photo. For example, an open car door or the damaged area of a crushed vehicle. It may be best to avoid using the wheels as they can move relative to the vehicle due to the suspension. Use the point marking tool to identify the points we extracted on this single photo. These points will not have a 3D position but will define the rays the import can be pinned to. Select the point mark and assign it to the corresponding pin point. Turn on the point cloud visibility and you can see the import aligned with the marks we placed. Depending on the density of the point cloud and the resolution of the photo, you may want to adjust the displayed point size. The transparency of the overlay can also be adjusted. This full fit calculation requires four or more non-linear points. If you can identify only three matching points, there may be multiple solutions. We can delete these points leaving just the three pins. This button opens a new dialog to help control partial pin solutions. In this case, with three rays pinned, we can toggle between the possible solutions. For both solutions, all three pins line up. In this case, solution number one is best. If you can identify only one or two matching points, you can use manual alignment. If we delete these two points leaving the single ray pin, the dialog updates to allow for manual control. 
The D distance button moves the point cloud in and out along the ray defined by our pinned point. The pinned location stays locked. The rotate buttons rotate the point cloud around the pinned location. Left click on the dialog control and hold the button down. With the button down, drag your mouse to adjust the position. Use these to manually align the point cloud with the photo. If the single pin was a 3D point instead of a ray, it would define the translation and only the three rotate buttons would be available. Lastly, if there are no identifiable locations and nothing is pinned, you can use the controls on this dialog to freely position the point cloud in the scene. Deleting the last point leaves the import with no pinned points. The alignment needs to be done manually. The coordinate system of the imported file means the cloud is not initially visible on the photo, but can be seen in the 3D view. The import is outside of the photo's view area. Turn on the 3D view axis display to see the global coordinate system. This is the global coordinate axis. This is the local coordinate axis. Use the translate controls to move the point cloud into the photo view. This movement is being made in the global coordinate system. The X, Y, Z translate buttons can adjust the position based on the global coordinate system of the project, or the local coordinate system of the import. Once the import is visible in the photo view, it can be easier to move using the local coordinate system. The speed setting will adjust how fast the point cloud moves as you drag. Smaller speed for finer adjustments. Once the point cloud is aligned it can be exported or the measure pane can be used to determine its location in the scene. The position of the pinned import can also be seen in the 3D view. The larger point cloud shown here was the one used to solve the camera position and parameters of the single photo. It defines the overall coordinate system. Here only one import has been pinned, but projects can have multiple pinned imports. This can be used to compare the positions of different vehicles, or with an image sequence to show how far or fast something is moving. Imported point clouds can be pinned to light ray locations on solved photos. With four non-linear pinned rays, the cloud's location is fully solved. With three non-linear pinned rays, there is a choice of possible solutions. With one or two pinned rays, the distance and rotation must be defined manually. With no pinned rays, the translation and rotation are defined manually.